Hello, welcome to Downs in Minecraft Universe. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you uh, my Natural History Museum, the London Natural History Museum. Now this build is on my corrupt save, so I can't actually do any more to this, but hopefully I'll be able to show you what I've done. Um, I say so far, unfortunately, it's all I'm going to be able to do on it, because whenever I start building, it just closes the application down. Uh, the Natural History Museum in London, this was going to be uh, to scale or as close as I could do it, a uh, build. And as you can see from the front, for those of you who are familiar with the building, it's pretty close. It's pretty close so far. Uh, I'll just give you a, just a fly over the tops, just so you can see kind of, that's where I got to on that side. Uh, and that's where I got to on that side. So I had actually done uh, quite a lot of it. But what I'm going to do, we're going to go inside and take a look. Now, just so as you're all aware, I've got a zombie there. Uh, this actually took me, it took me six months altogether. But, I mean, I wasn't just doing this um, on its own. I was doing other things. But just so you can understand hello yeah okay now this is uh the main hall uh and inside oh I must not have it on peaceful uh inside this is the um is it a brachiosaurus i can't remember oh diplodocus uh so in the in the actual natural history museum this is what you will see when you walk in uh the front door uh, the Diplodocus, he's probably got a name, I'm not sure. Um, and this is the Grand Hall. Now, this is what took me so long. I was doing it all off photographs, um, off the net, uh, YouTube videos. I mean, I have actually been here uh, to the museum, but not for a long time. Uh, and I've only been here, oh, I think I went there twice. Um, so we go up the stairs. And there we have Charles Darwin, and he's alive. Uh, carry on further up the stairs. I was going to put all the exhibits in uh, if I'd have got round to finishing it, but I never did because of the problem with the application. Okay, so if you go up the stairs, uh, and then in the real Natural History Museum, when you go to the top level up here, um, it has got the cross section of a giant sequoia, which I've put in there. Um, I mean, it's a lovely view from up the top. Um, and let's go back down. And then through here. Now, I don't know if this is really what it looks like, but I'll put this in anyway, because it has got a, a big cafe inside, but I didn't know exactly where it was or what it looked like, uh, because there weren't no proper photos of this, so I just added one in anyway, so... We've got the, the the cafe or eatery, whatever you want to call it, um, which is over here. Um, can just go in behind here into the into the staff quarters, into the little kitchen bit, and then the team room with toilets. There we go. Okay, and back out. Right, and again, for those of you who have actually been to the Natural History Museum uh, in London, um, inside they've got the Dinosaur Walk, uh, which is one of the halls which is set out with all the um, the dinosaur fossils and bones, uh, which has got a catwalk, which you can go up and walk along, um, which is what I built in here as well. Um, so we've got some dinosaur bones there and we've got a big fossil there actually quite like that when i've done it i was quite impressed um and then if we go up the stairs and then there's more dinosaur bones up here uh we've got t-rex there and oh, no, a t-rex head a uh, skull hanging up there And then we've got, I think, what was this? 
Oh, that's right. These are supposed to be the jaws of a Megalodon. Uh, and that is a great white shark in comparison to the jaws of the Megalodon. There we go. We've got another dinosaur there. Uh, and this is where I got to with this. Okay, if we go back out. Now I built um, three big halls in here. So we've got three of these. Uh, they're all exactly the same as each other. Um, there was going to be other openings and entrances, which I thought I'd build the halls and then I'll put those in after. So I, I know exactly what I'm doing. And these were going to be all the mammals and... Uh, all those sort of exhibits. Um, so there's three of these on this side all together. But again, they're all empty. And then if we go across. We've got the lifts. And then this bit is uh, Waterhouse Gallery Birds. Uh, this That's it, the Green Zone Ecology, Fossils, Marine Reptiles. So I've got all fossils uh, and everything in here and that even I even named them and actually done quite a good job with this um, the Attenboroughsaurus and believe me that is a real name so there's all the fossils um, before we go up a level I think in here I've got Oh, that's right. This is the gift shop in the actual Naturalist Museum. This is the gift shop. Um, uh, and real spiders. And then we've got the ecology zone. Now, I, I haven't actually been in here when I did go to Natural History Museum. So this was all off um, just, again, YouTube videos and stuff. And a lot of it I kind of made up. Um, and what I wanted to do here was give a sense of telling the story of how the earth kind of works so we've got something to do with rain there and uh, stuff um, and this is it's a big sphere and it, uh, I know it had a load of televisions on it and it was telling you about the way the world worked and all that sort of gumpf um, but again I didn't get around to finishing that so um, and this bit in here, let's just get a bit of light. This, as, I, as far as I know, isn't in the Naturalist Museum. This is kind of going to be my own sort of thing, which was telling you uh, about how roots worked, uh, trees and stuff, and rain, and, you know, it was going to so say you could actually walk around it. And, but again, that was unfinished. Uh, I don't know if that was going to look any good, but at the time it seemed like a good idea. But Okay, so if we go back through the ecology the green zone. Right, and we'll go to the main staircase. Um, now, downstairs, I believe, uh, was something called the Investi uh, in Investigate Centre, which was uh, where school parties went and uh, there was a lot of teaching going on there about different things and that so it's more like classrooms and then we go up the stairs and this brings you onto the second level of the main main hall uh oh yeah and we've got the lift there uh and did i finish this bit what was this going to be I can't even remember what this was going to be, but it was going to be summit. Trust me. Um, and then if we just go one more flight, this will take you then to the where I've got the giant sequoia. Don't ask. And don't ask. There we go. Um, yeah, I was really gutted about this save that I can't actually build any more on this because the amount of work I put into building this 
Uh, I don't think I'll do it again on my new uh, build that I'm doing on my new world because it just took too long. Uh, and it probably wouldn't look as good. Um, I mean, even the roof, um, the ceiling of the Natural History Museum, obviously it doesn't look like this, but it does, if you know what I mean. There's, I think there's a load of paintings up there and stuff like that, but from down the bo bottom, you know, it does give a really good effect. Uh, was there anything else through here that I'd done? No, I think it did it end there. I think there was going to be entrances at both ends here and then somewhere here because uh, there's also, um, I think, the Darwin Centre and yeah, all different places like that, all have built onto the sides of the museum, which doubled the size of it, um, which I, I was going to do, but it just never happened. So there we have it, the Natural History Museum in London. Uh, I hope you like the build uh, and the video. And if so, give me a like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you soon for more Dancing Minecraft Universe. See you soon. Bye.